Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we will discuss how a Russian spy whale lost its life while guarding Kremlin property in the Arctic. The famous white beluga whale, which was suspected to be a spy of Russia, was probably guarding Kremlin property when it was found dead off the coast of Norway, according to a new documentary. The whale, nicknamed Valdimir, which is a combination of the word for whale and the first name of Russian President Vladimir Putin, was discovered floating at the Risavika Bay in southern Norway in September. The fishermen were the first to spot the 14-feet whale near the northern island of Ingoya in April 2019. The spy whale was wearing a harness, which had a small camera mounted over it, and a buckle which had the text marked on it, Equipment St. Petersburg. This discovery had fueled assumptions that the beluga was probably a spy whale. After carrying out investigations for 10 months, the makers of the BBC documentary Secrets of the Spy Whale found that some evidence hinted that the whale was being trained as a covert guard whale. Our latest findings about the potential role that Valdemir had been trained to do brings us closer to solving the mystery. But they also prompt many further questions about what Russia might be seeking to guard in the Arctic. And why? said Jennifer Shaw, director of the film, while speaking to the observer. While looking into the mystery, the team reached out to a former dolphin trainer and veterans of an early U.S. Navy program who explained how these creatures turned into guards. Speaking to the newspaper, Blair Irvine said that the movements of swimmers create bubbles, which then create noise. Because the hearing of the dolphin is so sensitive, it becomes the best method for tracking intruders. Shaw further told the newspaper that Valdemir was also trained in a similar way and was seen placing his nose on anything, which he made a target. According to the expert, it suggested that Beluga was recruited as part of a security patrol and maybe not as a spy. On September 1st, Valdemir was found dead, and the animal rights groups had said that it was shot. In an autopsy, a 35 centimeter in length and 3 centimeter wide stick was found stuck in the mouth of the animal, and police said Valdemir also had some completely superficial injuries, although there was no evidence suggesting that Valdemir was shot. There is nothing in the investigations that have been carried out to establish that it is human activity that has directly led to Valdemir's death, said police. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.